Shalom, Shalom, call Loyim La Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, or Chachadash, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, which means He is, He exists, by Zin, Hazda, Shem is name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which means He says He delivers double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Shalom, Wachasad Lahabakiya, peace and mercy to the elect, I'm your fellow servant, I'm Yadya. I represent the GMS Church here in Cleveland, back in the spirit. I hope and I pray this had a fine lesson. <clears throat> it's gonna be a quick lesson. Um in particular focusing on the destruction of Babylon the Great according to the scriptures, which America is Babylon the Great according to the Holy Scriptures. How do we know through the characteristics that this uh, uh um that this society portrays? It's indicative with ancient Babylon, right? You see? And it lines up with the prophecies that's found in the Holy Scriptures. And according to the... And what is the prophecy of foreshadowing the things to come? And according to the prophecies, what's to come to this place? The Lake of Fire. This place, this landmass known as North America, or the United States of America, um, this place is identified as the Lake of Fire in the Holy Scriptures. It's not a place under where you go in hell and burn forever. Hell is a condition. Heaven and hell are conditions of living. living. You see... All right, which hell goes back to the grave. OK, all right. So I seen this sign when I was at work and it just automatically made me think of the destruction that the Heavenly Father is going to send upon this place. You see, Lord willing, I don't have to um, partake in the destruction. Me, my family, my children, my women, my the Akim, their families, their children, the ones who believe on their testimony and truth and sincerity. But for the rest of you, mainly you Israelites. You see, but they're going to come back in the kingdom. All right. Through the loins of the elect, according to the scriptures, man. You see, but yeah, I see. I seen this at work and I ultimately thought about the destruction and I work around ovens. So the precept that I thought about in particular was Malachi, the fourth chapter, starting at the first verse. And I don't have my sword with me right now, but I will do this. I will just look it up in the. Um, I will look it up in the. Um. This one in the GNT. You see, because that's the future of this place, man. Rightfully so. And that's what you do with a whore. The brother Amari you always make that point dealing with a whore and the, the, the punishment for, for such behavior. You burn them in a the fire. You literally burn them in a the fire. So this place is known as the great whore that sitteth upon the scarlet covered beast in the book of Revelation. Revelation. Right, peel back the veil. Okay, so let's get Malachi, <clears throat> the fourth chapter, starting at the first verse. Malachi, four and one. 